A very welcome to you. We are here with 21st of June's Golly Blessing. Experience is everything. An experience of not just worldly things, that means physics and biology and chemistry and other things, but in terms of relationships, situations, how to handle them, how to make sure that everybody is happy and content and working towards adjustments and understandings and moving ahead in life. That is what means experience. But we think that experience in worldly affairs, experience in our work, in our job, that's a separate entity altogether. So God here talks about zeal and enthusiasm. So he says that may you constantly have zeal and enthusiasm and from the fullness of your experiences become a master almighty authority. Authority over what? Authority over handling situations, handling people, handling other people's emotions. So experience is the greatest authority of all. Become full of the experience of every virtue. Become full of the experience of every virtue. That means humility, experience, patience, experience, tolerance, experience, loyalty, experience, royal behavior, experience. Become full of all these experiences so that we take these experiences along with us. As it is said, we neither brought anything with us nor will we take anything with us. But we will take experiences. We will take the feelings attached to every experience. Every power and every point of knowledge, even powers, power to tolerate, power to face situations, power to discern, power to have courage, power to face, and power to acknowledge, power to accept, all these things have to be there within us. Only then can we say, yes, we are complete of these experiences. And even every point of knowledge, and the shine of zeal and enthusiasm will then be constantly visible on your face. People can see through your face that yes, you are somebody who's experienced. Now together with listening and speaking. Together with listening and speaking, play a special part of being an image of experience. So we can speak, I'm speaking like this. I can speak to you about all this. I can talk to you about all this. But do I have experience? That depends upon how do I handle situations? How do I handle people? So anybody can give an explanation. Anybody can speak out these things. God says those who have the authority of experience will experience themselves to be constantly full. That means nothing will shake them. They'll know how to handle situations, whether smaller or bigger. And they'll know how to be victorious. Just as a seed is full, in the same way, because of being full of knowledge, virtues and powers, you will become a master almighty authority. So if a seed is empty, the tree doesn't grow out of it. If the seed is full with those nutrients, with the proteins and everything, then it turns into a tree. So we should be full. We as seeds means we as souls should be full of virtues, powers and knowledge so that we can use those powers and virtues of knowledge as weapons to face situations, not to kill people. So that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris in a very simple, in a very easy manner. We even understand how religions which have taught us that gods were violent is not actually the case. We understand that that was not violence. Those were not the weapons of violence. Those were weapons of spirituality, weapons of patience, weapons of tolerance, weapons to face situations, weapons to discern what is right, what is wrong. And that has been turned over and shown in a very negative way in terms of the divine human beings. So Brahma Kumaris is clarifying everything and it is making everything clear to every human being so that they connect to their real self, the real being that they are, the soul that they are. Om Shanti, peace.